Well, welcome to Tommy Robson world. Um, we've all, I think, had quite enough of to about Tommy Robson over the last few days. He's consuming an immense amount of bandwidth and airways. Now, I have one last thing to say before I drop talking about him for a bit. Um, I'm going to put up a link to an article by him, and you could all read the article. I was considering reading out some of it, but the article is so long that we'd all have long fallen asleep by I got to the end of it. This is Tommy's article on what he calls the Tommy's statement, the Jewish question from the 3rd of November, 2022. As If I scroll down it, you can see very well why I won't read it out. Not because I'm frightened to, or not because I couldn't, but because you, it would replace Horlicks as the world's favourites. Drink for insomniacs. There you go. And as I keep going, 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 and as I keep going a bit more, and as I keep going a bit, and as I keep going, and as I keep going a bit more. God knows how many words there are in this thing. I could copy and paste it to Word to find out. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was somewhere in the region of seven and a half to 10,000 words. Tommy starts talking about the Jewish question after having a, a go at, oh, about um, Kanye West and Kanye West blowing up the internet with his posts about Jews. I'm going to let you read it and decide what you think of what Tommy has to say on it, as I think that's fairer than anything else I could do with it. Rather than me, you know, give my own views on it. So without further ado, I'll stop sharing, stop myself recording, and give you a link to read Tommy's great magnum opus on the Jewish question. 